Hey there, TC May begin with TC Gaming. Just wanted to bring you another uh, quick getting started guide with ACF 2.0 for 4.27. So in this case here we have our ACF sample project and what we want to do is add one of our own characters to the um, system so that we can check it out. I'm just going to grab the assassin uh, in here so I've filtered down for that in my vault. And I just go add the project and then I'm going to pick the ACF sample project that is for 4.27 and just hit add to project. In the event that you have older assets or older projects or whatever um, that won't apply to this but some people have asked about this you can always hit show all projects in here and look for compatible projects to load things to. It doesn't apply to this case because we're loading to 427 but just on the odd chance that you ever have that come up show all projects will get you in there. So basically we're just going to go in here and say add to project and it should load the assets in there and when we get done I'll be right back. Okay, after our asset has been loaded into the project, we can go into the folder for that. I usually go down to the mesh folder, find the primary asset, open that up, and let all of my shaders compile before doing anything else with it. But just real quick, you can see that this skeleton is a typical epic mannequin skeleton. And if that's what you're dealing with, with a typical epic mannequin skeleton, all you have to do to make this work is to find, and in this case it's right in this directory, but if you right-click on here and say skeleton, find skeleton it'll take you to wherever that is in your mesh or wherever it is related to that particular mesh if it's the same mannequin framework and bone structure as an epic mannequin you can simply delete this i just hit the delete key and it's going to show you all the different assets that are pending um, change that are referencing that asset and down here, if you look, there's, there's a thing that says Replace References. So what we can do is we can pull up this menu and scroll down through here and try and find another UE4 mannequin skeleton, which we have here. And if you hover over it, you can see that that's from the Ascent Combat Framework Mannequin Character Mesh Directory. That's the one we want. We're going to highlight that one, select it, and say Replace References. And it's just going to say it's going to replace any reference to the pending deleted assets and update them to that new skeleton. So we can just hit OK and let that process run. After the process is completed, you'll be prompted to save and just say Save Selected and give it a second to do that. That skeleton's gone now. If you were to right click here and say skeleton find skeleton you'll now see that you've drilled all the way down into the mannequin character mesh directory underneath of Ascent Framework Combat and as we said earlier in the previous video if you've localized your plugin directory this is actually one inside of this project not the one that's in the engine plugin folder. Again you could verify that by right clicking on here saying show an explorer and look at the path. Mine is downloads 427 sample plugins etc etc etc. So um, if you've done that now what you can do is you can go over to your default pawn class under the world settings. If you don't see world settings you can go up here to settings world settings and it'll pull that up. You go to world settings and look at the default pawn class. If you hit the little magnifying glass it will take you to the blueprint for what's currently in this default. Double left click here, highlight the mesh. I usually open up the viewport when I do this. And since we've basically transferred our mesh onto the ACF version of the um, UE4 mannequin, what we can do now is just go to our skeletal mesh directory in here, and I'll just type in assassin, whatever the name of your, your thing is, and let it pull that up. And uh, your anim class will stay the same for ACF full anim BP here we go we see him here we just hit compile and now when I go back out and hit play in the main window I now have my retargeted character uh, basically reassigned character I should say and he will work the same as the other one does he has an arrow a bow and an arrow I can hit one swing my sword and uh, you know three would re-equip the bow or put it back he can also these guys can cast spells using the X key you can see he's just fired off a projectile there. Uh, C summons a companion, I believe. Actually, it's a heal. V summons a companion. Somewhere. There he is. And uh, this character performs for all intents and purposes just like the other character does. So that is a real quick way to get your mannequin, or your mesh rather, onto the Ascent Combat Framework version of the skeleton. Um, if for whatever reason you're dealing with a character that doesn't have the same structure 
as the epic mannequin. I do have a video that shows you how to retarget. I have a lot of retarget videos. Uh, basically, that process would be the same for this. You would retarget all of the um, information from the animation blueprints and all of the animation uh, montages and data and everything like that onto your character, just like I do in all the other process videos. And then you would have to take the structure of the um, the skeleton that has all these different sockets on it. You would have to go into that skeleton and take these sockets, which you'll see in here. There's going to be a shield, a left weapon, a bow hand. You'd basically have to transfer all of these sockets onto your skeleton, which of course you can do by just holding down the control key, selecting every one of these sockets, you know, which are, whichever ones you want to get. And you can just right click and say copy selected sockets, go to your other skeleton. You just go up to the root of the skeleton, right click and say paste sockets. Don't say paste sockets to selected bones because if you do that it'll move all of them to wherever you're currently highlighted. If you just say paste sockets it'll put them where they were on the other bone as far as it can find the references. In the worst case scenario you can always move them around or whatever. But uh, that should get you started with the uh, process of just getting another character onto the Ascent Combat Framework UE4 mannequin. Again, I, I'll shoot other videos just trying to help you guys get up and running as quick as possible. I know a lot of you want to see your character in the game, and that's a quick way to do it. Thanks again. My name's TC Mabe. Thanks for watching.